what's going on guys Akami here we're back with another video so in today's video we're going to do a updated 2.0 version of my r35 drift build so let's go ahead and hop into the performance so like i said i stuck with the uh stock engine i did not change it it's still the v6 engine in this bad boy starting with the 591 uh the 591 3.8 v6 engine so everything is ultimate plus the only change that i did is that for the uh for the charger i went ahead with the root supercharger it i i don't know why but from the changing from the dual turbo chargers to the root uh to the root supercharger made it gave it less weight but made it much more easier for me to have longer transitions or in longer slides when i'm uh when i'm going in between both corners uh the uh, still five times three pounds uh, uh five times three pounds of tanks so it's drift suspension pro uh pro brakes my drift tires are elite uh elite drift tires i have elite plus clutch um the drive uh the drive the gearbox is still the same a six speed and my my differential will be a drift differential um I tried every other component. I tried speed cross showcase. You know, I started out with showcase, but this one was the was the was the one. This one made it much more easier after the update. So that's pretty much the performance, guys. This is what my uh, my stuff is sitting at. Uh, got some 939 horsepower, sitting at 845 foot pounds of torque. Max speed is 225 and my 0 to 60 is 2.27. Not bad to be honest. However, uh, it does it does the job very well. So uh, that's the performance. We're gonna hop into the customization. Um, I didn't really do I didn't really do too much changes. I just changed from the Liberty Walk and basically put together as much of a body kit as I possibly could. Um, I think most of everything is very uh, the Varus and the uh, um, the Pandem set up. So here's everything I have set up on my uh, for my customization and my body work. Blacked out the tail lights. Got the overtake bumper. So the options that they have for the uh, for the diffuser were were uh, very. Um, they gave me, I had, I didn't really look at it before, but now that I actually looked, actually gave me a lot of options. So I stuck with the Varus, uh, diffuser. It has that little carbon fiber. So I had to have it on that. And then for my, uh, exhaust tips, I stuck with the carbon fiber, not the carbon fiber, but the, I stuck with the stock, uh, exhaust tips because it has that little, um, that coloration. At the at the end of the exhaust tips, and I enjoyed that, so I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stick with that at the end. Um, and then the change that I did from the spoiler, instead of going with a normal spoiler, I went with the duck with the duck uh with the duck lip. I had to go with that one. It just looked more appealing to me, in my opinion. Let me know in the comments on how you guys feel about that. And then uh, I didn't add any front canards in here. The front lip is still the same to the first one, so I did. I just like the way it looks, so I kept it as the same. And then I blacked out the headlights. And this is my hood that I have right here. Um, and you know I had to darken the tent. So for my effects, now that the they had added some more uh, updates, favorite colors blue, so I had to add the uh, black, the blue black, uh, the blue black fire. And then for my rims, I went with the the SSR MS3s. That's the rims that I chose for uh, this build right here. And yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much everything. So my stance is all the way to my left. Front camber is all the way to, is one notch to the right, and my rear camber is currently sitting in the middle. Um. Or this is how my this is what my uh, R35 sounds compared to the first one. I do have air suspension on here, so obviously there's going to be a gap in between. Don't make fun of me. I'm sorry. It's just the way the game's set up at, at this point. 
So I'm gonna rev it up a little bit for you guys. Sounds very stock and sounds very good. I just like the way it sounds. There's no need for me to change it as much. And that's that's it everybody. Um that's what I have currently for my um my setup for my performance and my customization. So we'll go into the live tuning and I'll see you guys there. So for my live tuning today, I kept the same steering sensitivities to the far right, down forces to the far left, traction control is off, and my drift style is now brake to drift instead of gas to drift. Um, when it comes to the transitions from, uh, from the corners, it's 10 times quicker, and it makes the smooth transition, it just makes it so much better. So uh, yeah guys, that's the... That's the setup on my live tuning, so uh, I'll see you guys in the gameplay, and I hope that you guys enjoy. Peace out. I'll take that. I'll take it. 
That was a good run. I'll take it. That was a solid run. Solid. I don't think I can do any better with this car. Not with more practice. That was a solid run. I'm gonna keep that. I found my video.